All right, uh, time to get serious here. Uh, I've gone ahead and put some uh, logic probes on the data bus to see what was going on. And uh, it does seem as though it is uh, giving us some data. So these are the, these are the data lines. This is the decoded um, codes that are coming off of the data lines. Um, what I really was looking for to see if uh, there was a stuck bit, right? If one bit was always low, one bit was always high, that might give me some information, but it looks like it's actually trying to do something. Um, so that's interesting. But the, the more interesting thing that I found, because I don't really quite understand the codes, if we zoom way out, I mean way out, We find that there's a burst of data and then a and then a dead spot, and then another burst of data. And I thought, hmm, well that doesn't seem right. Well, what's that doing there? And what I found was that the process was being reset constantly, reset, 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 like 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 clockwork. And it would run for a while, then it would get this reset signal. And then it would run for a while, and we'd get this reset signal. And that didn't make any sense at all to me. Because I was looking for a place to, to wire in a hardware reset. And uh, I haven't done that yet. And I discovered this other thing. So, yeah, let's, let's talk about that. Because I, I think it's, uh, it's very interesting. And uh, it's interesting for a couple of reasons. But, yeah, let's look at that. Let me, let me give us, get some room here on the, uh, on the bench. Okay, let's take a look at the schematic here. Um, there's these two chips here. This chip is a, a 4608, no, 4060B, 4060. So 4060s are like a 14-bit counter or something. They're a really, really long counter. And uh, what comes into this thing is a uh, two megahertz clock and it gets counted way down, and, and it says here it gets counted down to 16.3 milliseconds here. It goes into this thing. So that's pretty slow. And then the other input to this chip is down here. And there's this line that comes in, and there's this little uh, one shot here. So it'll, it'll fire a pulse whether it sees a rising edge or a falling edge. It'll, it'll do that. Um, and so this guy uh, gets the load command when this guy fires. So what is this? This is a 16-bit counter and it's a down counter. So it's going to load 16. You can see all these guys are tied high. So it's going to load 16 and then it's going to start counting down. This is hooked to the down. And then when it gets all the way down, it'll fire reset. This is actually a reset signal. So um, as long as you keep loading it faster than you down count it, then you'll never get a reset signal. This is a hardware watchdog, okay? So before they were in microprocessors, right now all the microcontrollers have hardware watchdogs in them, but um, before there was that, this circuit here made sure that there was something toggling on this line here. If this line was toggling, it would always reset this chip and you'd never get a reset. But if for some reason this stopped, you, for some reason you never, toggled this line, then this would automatically fire and reset the microprocessor and everything would go on its merry way again. Um, and what it's doing is it's doing that. It's, it's resetting and then it's resetting and then it's resetting and then it's resetting. So it's never getting any toggling on this pin, okay? And so it is a hardware fault. There is some hardware fault because this is never firing. Well, where does this go? What, what is it that makes this thing continually uh, not trigger the watchdog timer. It comes up here to the, to the, uh, to that uh, 6522 and it comes to a data line. So the serial clock here, this, this clock data strobe, and it's, it's going to the front panel. So when you're right into the front panel, you're always uh, uh, multiplexing it. So you always have data flowing on the, uh, on the display. And so that data line is always toggling up and down. Well, that, it's that data line that comes down here and, and, uh, f and goes into this hardware watchdog. And the data is obviously the front panel is not doing anything, which means the thing keeps getting reset, 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 reset. Um, now, yesterday I did enter into a situation where I was getting some data for a while because the front panel was flickering really weird codes. It wasn't normal, anything normal. It was just flickering, the, some of the segments were turning on. 
that's all I can kind of describe it. And it hasn't done it since, so I'm not quite sure what was going on there. So something funny is going on. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know really quite where to go from here. Um, this is the... Uh, this is the 8255, and this is the data pin here. There's clock and data that comes up to the display board where it's all the segments are being driven, and then clock and data are coming in to, 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 to do the uh, serial shift register. And this data line here is the one that goes down to that watchdog timer. So yeah, none of this is firing. So very interesting. So once again, is, is this 6522 dead or is it just not being programmed correctly? Well, I replaced the 82, uh, 8522. So I'm only guessing that maybe it's not happy. <laughs> it's either not running the right program or it's running the program, but for some reason it's not happy. Something's, there's a memory fault or, or something, right? So that could be, could be bad memory. Um, haven't tested that yet. Uh, what else do I know? There's another little funny circuit here that I thought was interesting. Maybe I'll test that today. Um, this one here, line frequency um, that goes into the digital circuitry. So a lot of times when you have precision instruments um, like the six and a half digit voltmeter, it's very important that when you integrate time okay so this is going to have like a dual slope integrator and when you integrate time it's going to have noise on it from 60 cycle hum and things like that and so it's important that your integration times are multiples of 60 hertz it's like the refresh of your camera you can set it to 50 hertz so it won't flicker or 60 hertz so it won't flicker because of the because of the overhead lights um, well a lot of times you have to program your camera if it, it fixes 50 or 60 hertz, but sometimes it's smart enough to figure it out. Well, this instrument's smart enough to figure it out. And it does that by bringing a little bit of the power supply uh, voltages, the AC voltage, it sneaks it in here. And then this transistor whacks up and down at either 50 hertz or 60 hertz. And it goes into a pin here, which is an input pin. This is a multiplexer switch where you can read the display board. The, these are the switches on the display board. It's all multiplexed. So you can read the switches or you can read the... Uh, 50, 60 hertz. So yeah, I thought that was a pretty interesting, pretty interesting circuit. And I thought there was another interesting circuit. Where did I find, where did I find that one? Yeah, this one. Uh, so this is funny circuit here that I don't quite understand. There's a couple clocks that come into it. Uh, 3.84 megahertz, 2.4 kilohertz. And this thing generates a 480 kilohertz charge balance clock. Um, and that's obviously for the uh, analog section to, to balance the um, capacitors and stuff on the integrator. So yeah, 480 kilohertz charge balance clock. So there might be some kind of... Um, chopped amplifier or something in there. I don't know. Anyway, it, I found that was interesting. And uh, it's being generated off of this, uh, off of this crystal here, a 3.84 uh, megahertz crystal. So there's a little, a little oscillator over here. And um, you see there's a, a dashed line, maybe it's off camera. Uh, yeah, there's a dashed line here and it says 1500 volt isolation. So yeah, this side of the so this side of the computer, uh, the uh, DVM and this side are isolated by 1500 volt uh, isolation. And one side is not grounded to the other side. The only way that they communicate, I mentioned this once before, the only way that they communicate is with uh, optocouplers. Uh, and it's kind of hard to see on this schematic, but it's the only one I got right now. Uh, but right here, there are optocouplers, one, two, three, four optocouplers. And I found it interesting that they're uh, Hewlett Packard optocouplers, so I know people who were in that group um, back in the day. Uh, they probably designed these things. Uh, so it uses Hewlett Packard uh, optocouplers and it uses Hewlett Packard LED displays. Uh, the seven segment displays on the front are also Hewlett Packard. So I know I know everybody. <laughs> I know everybody who made that part. I know I know, I know everybody who made the uh, seven segment display, so that's kind of fun. Um, 
Anyway, got a lot more digging to go. All right, I discovered that if I turn the power on, uh, I get a certain signal. All right, I'm triggering off the reset line. So these, this is what happens directly after a reset. So you can see that some stuff happens and then there's a, and then there's a pause after the end. Let me power on, power off again. Oh, look at that, there's no pause this time. Now it's doing something different. Power off, power on. Uh, did some weird things, then it kind of stopped. Power off, power on. Oh, look at that. So, yeah, it's not powering up right. Uh, it's doing really weird stuff. So, I I have no idea what that is. That one, that one seems really weird. Uh, let's see here. Let me, can I zoom in on that one? Oh, now it's doing something different, so it timed out. Huh. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Well, let's turn it on and off a couple times here. It does weird things sometimes. Oh, you see that flat? Oh, see it flashed again? There we go. I got a U. <laughs> I don't think banging on it was did anything. I think that was like... Uh, I think it was just coincidence that I banged on it. Although there's no such thing as coincidences, right? Oh, it flickered. I don't know what's going on. I got it to do something really weird a while ago. I was flipping it on and off and it really started going crazy there for a second. Maybe the microprocessor should it. I hate buying more and more parts for this thing, but it'd be nice if I had a 6808 to pop in here. again there. Oh, there we go. Oh, did you see that? It almost looked like it was starting to do something. Interesting. So what's wrong with it? Oh my goodness. So what is wrong with it? Ah, drive me nuts. <laughs> 